So you want to water or something? What is this going to be? Good cop, bad cop? I just want to see my baby. No good cop, bad cop. It's just me. But when it comes to your baby, I, I don't know about that. Sounds like you might be in here for a while. You know, I wasn't even at the damn house when she went missing. How is this even legal? Come on, Joey. You hated that girl and you had no way out. Plus, I know you were jealous of my son for dating your ex-wife. You think I had a part in his death or whatever, right? Even though he overdosed. I went to the mechanic shop where you had the uh, confrontation with him right before he died. Sure does look like you had it out for him. Well, I didn't have a part in your son's death, okay? I know you're not gonna believe me, but I really didn't. I know about your history, Joey. The second you got out of that asylum, you met Melissa, and then you ruined Miranda's life. The second you got out of prison, you're gonna ruin your son's life. You're better off in here, Joey. Maybe you're right. Maybe everyone would be better off if I was just in here, and maybe Miranda would have a better life. Maybe my baby would be happier when he grows up. It's not like my nanny Agatha would care. Uncle Jimmy can be with Cinnamon. I confess. Don't want to wait for the premieres and want to see the videos before everyone else? Then head on over to my Patreon where you can get early access for $4.99. Listen, I only got one phone call, so whoever this is, you better make it good. Joey, it's me. Oh. Miranda, what are you doing calling me? She should be like, focusing on your own life right now, focusing on our baby. Do you want to use our family lawyer? You're innocent. You shouldn't be in there. I have plenty of reasons why I should be in here, okay? Why are you talking like this? Think about Junior. How is Junior? Think about this, like he's gonna grow up and you're gonna be in prison. Do you really want a life like that? Listen Miranda, this is how life is supposed to be. I'm taking it as a sign. When I came out of that asylum, I met Melissa. And then she's the reason why I'm in a place like this. It all came full circle. I'm supposed to be locked away. Joey. Goodbye, Miranda. What brings you here, Miranda? You want some tea? Nah, I'm okay, but thank you. All right, so what do you need? I mean, I'm sure you can guess. It's about Joey. Don't touch it. Go live your life. Take care of your baby. I knew you would say that, but with all due respect, he is your grandson. How can you be so cold, don't you? Don't you want to help him? He's a replica of his mother. He has no respect for marriage. He needs a wake-up call. I don't want my son to grow up with a father that's in jail for no reason. If anyone can help him, it's you. But if you aren't willing to help him, then I'm going to have to use the money you gave me to bail him out. I didn't give you a hundred thousand dollars to bail out my deadbeat grandson. Don't disrespect me like that. But he didn't have anything to do with. It's not your problem. And at the end of the day, I was the one that replaced that door with your fingerprints on them. You owe me. So don't you dare use that money to bail him out. You changed the door? So Mill was setting me up all along? She was gonna let me take the fall? I won't use the money to bail Joey out, but your daughter has to pay. So the other day, you turned me away and avoided my questioning. Now today you wanna to talk. What gives? I called you here for a specific reason. Not for what you wanted to talk about. Well, I'm here on the clock. What do you want to talk about? My grandson is a flight risk. He shouldn't be let out of prison for any reason, including bail. If he still has bail, it should be revoked. I don't think he has bail anymore. He might. I'm not too sure. But what's, what gives you reason to say that? I don't have the power to do anything anyway. I heard he was talking about leaving the country. 
So whoever's in charge, make sure that they're not letting him out on bail. If his bail is still set, I don't think there's anyone that really wants to bail him out. The reason I don't think it is set anymore is uh, he confessed. He confessed? Does his baby's mother know this? I'm not sure. Why do you seem so surprised that he confessed? You didn't smell that's coming? This meeting is over. Have a good day. Don't want to wait for the premieres and want to see the videos before everyone else? Then head on over to my Patreon where you can get early access for $4.99. I've never had a daughter, but I do have a son. And I still can't imagine what it must be like to lose a child or have a child go missing. I feel for you. Do you think that your son actually committed this crime? I don't know what to believe right now. His confession has destroyed my world. A confession without telling the police where my daughter is or what happened to her. That doesn't raise a red flag for you. I have a little skepticism in me as well. It seems like you and me are on the same page. I simply want to know what happened to my daughter. That's it. Well, I sincerely hope that you get some answers. Hopefully one day my son tells the police where your daughter is buried, and then you can get some closure. And how do you know that she's buried? I don't. I just speak in hypotheticals. My apologies if those hypotheticals are too realistic. Don't want to wait for the premieres and want to see the videos before everyone else? Then head on over to my Patreon where you can get early access for $4.99. Oh my god, what do you mean he confessed? You heard me right, Miranda. He confessed. Thank you. Mom, I'm sorry for cursing you out the other day. I just hope you can see that like I'm under a lot of stress right now. I, I don't want pity and I don't mean to sound like I'm whining. I'm just sorry, okay? I've always supported you, Miranda, and I've put up with a lot of this stuff in your life. But I won't sit here and let you curse me out. I can't support you then. Ma, I know. I said I'm sorry. Like, honestly, that day I was more mad at Gina. Where is Gina, by the way? Me and Gina had a falling out, and she moved out. We haven't spoken since. It was all caused by that fight that you had. She moved out? Ma, what? Don't worry about it right now, dear. What happened to Joey? What's the news? I don't know why or how, but Joey confessed. Well, please don't take this the wrong way. But with Melissa gone, and you off the hook, why don't you just let it be? Because, Ma, with all due respect, everything that Joey's done, yeah, terrible, but him being in jail is not the right thing, and getting him out is the right thing to do. So, what brings you here? Mom. I've come here to see how you are. How are you doing in here, Joey? Well, can't say that I haven't had better days. You know, you don't look terrible in the jumpsuit. Most people look like they're on their deathbed when they're in this. That's all you have to say. Well, I figured we'd keep things light. There's no need to call out the elephant in the room. We both know where we are right now. Well, Ma, I'd hate to burst your bubble, but um, not in the mood for visitors. Especially ones that don't give a crap. What are you talking about, dear? I, I came to see you. Well, you know I confessed, but I guess it's because, I don't know, you only care about your grandson, is that it? Or you only care about people when other people try to care about them more than you? I, I don't know, I just... Not feeling the love right now. Joey, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Just leave, Ma. Just go. Live your life. Very well. And Ma, just because I'm in here does not mean that it gives you the chance to pounce on Miranda. Don't lay a finger on her, or I will find a way to get out. What you miss most about your outside life? My son, you got like a 
a specific memory that that keeps coming up for you? Yeah. I uh, gotta move it that way. I don't know why you're taking it this way. Must be rough having a family outside this place. I ain't got no family. You don't have family? Everyone's got family. Just cause people are blood don't mean they, they family, bro. I miss my baby. Everything else was drama, you know? Custody battles, arguments, just nonstop stress. <laughs> you know, it sounds kind of terrible, but um, this is like a vacation for me. What about your baby mama? We don't miss her? Truth be told, I'd die for that woman. But I'm in here now. Everyone can move on with their lives and be happy. Something tells me that whatever you did outside these walls, to be inside these walls, you didn't do it. We don't talk about that, remember? He's my stepson. What do you mean he doesn't want to talk to me? I don't want to talk to him. Can you tell him I'm sorry? Things have changed. Same old tune. Damn it. Can you tell him that I'm, I'm sick? Would you end a damn phone call, please? He's a scumbag. I was just borrowing it, Joey. Why are you overreacting like this? People don't usually borrow money without asking. Come on, I could have it back to you in a few weeks. I have a baby on the way with Miranda. And you've been a father to me, but chance after chance, I can't keep letting you get away with this. Now when my baby's coming, all right, so uh, I'll let you stay in this house. And this is the last straw. Dad, pack your things and leave. Come on, Joey, really? You know, I always wondered why you called me your stepson rather than your real son after all these years. I know one thing. My baby doesn't need a step-granddad. Needs a real granddad. Don't want to wait for the premieres and want to see the videos before everyone else? Then head on over to my Patreon where you can get early access for $4.99. To take the fall. You interrupted my plans. These plans were set in motion for months. I want you to leave Miranda alone. Once and for all. Joey was never going to fight for custody of that baby. He had laid down for Miranda. With Miranda in jail, he would have been able to have that baby full time. You took that away from him. Now he's in jail. Do you hear yourself? You would have sent an innocent woman to prison. I don't know when you crawled out of Satan's ass. Because I sure as hell didn't give birth to you. Well, Mother, I've listened to you far too long. The gloves are off. I want out of the will. I want to be free of your power. Fine. You're out. This means war. I hope you know that. None of them can save you. I'm not afraid of you. You should be. I can't believe this really just happened, baby. You really just gave birth, like, it's incredible. I know. I couldn't have done it without you, though, Joey. Nah, it was all you, babe. You carried this baby for nine months. You did things I could never do, you know? You're gonna be a great mom. Thank you. That means the world to me. I love you, Joey. I love you too, Miranda. I love you more than life itself. Oh, 
So, still nothing on Gina? I'm not gonna be the one that reaches out to your sister, Miranda. If she wants to move out and live her life, then so be it. All right, Mom. I guess we'll just let the family fall apart. We fought plenty of times, and you've never cared in the past. Why do you care that we're fighting now? I don't know, because my baby's father's in jail, and now his aunt isn't in the picture either. Like, something's gotta give. It can't stay this way. Miranda. Joey confessed. Please, just move on with it. I can't believe you're still saying this. You know, he's innocent. How am I supposed to move on from that? So are you. If you don't want to call Gina, then I will. All my merch, all my books, and all my social links are in my profile. Don't want to wait for the premieres and want to see the videos before everyone else? Then head on over to my Patreon where you can get early access for $4.99. I'm not calling you again. You're the landlord. You're supposed to take care of the thing. If you don't take care of it, then I want my deposit back and I'm moving out. Oh. Hello? Hey, Gina. It's me. Hey, Miranda. Hey. So you, um, you really went and got yourself an apartment? Yeah, because I'm done with mom's passive bull****. How is she being passive? I don't know. She's always so flip-floppy with everything she says, and I'm just tired of it. And it... I'm sorry for what I said about Joey and everything. It's alright, Gina. You know, I was thinking about it, you know, trying to make it up to you and stuff. Um, maybe if you brought the baby to jail, Joey would, like, change his mind about everything. You know, it wasn't even a real confession. It was a false confession. Yeah, so maybe if he saw the baby, he would take back his confession. Or I don't know how that worked, but it's worth a shot. That's not a bad idea. I don't know about how I feel bringing Junior to a prison, but maybe if Joey sees the baby, he'll change his mind. I'll call you back, Gina. Hello? Hi, Miranda. What are you up to? I'm heading to the prison. The prison? You didn't drop the baby off with me. Because I'm taking the baby to go see Joey. This is going to help him to remember that he's supposed to be a father and not supposed to be in prison. And this idea came from Gina, of all people. Oh, Miranda. Don't you see? Ever since he's been behind bars, your life has been normal. There's been no drama. You've been able to just live your life. Why can't you just let it be? Please just let it be for me. I don't do anything for anyone outside of my son. I'm busy, Mom. Bye. Darn it. All right, let's go, Junior. You ready to see Daddy? Hey, Jeff. Some of these news outlets and a lot of people out there, they're not buying Joey's confession. Yeah, people don't also buy into the UFOs and a lot of other stuff, so I'm not worried about the public or the media. What are you going to do when more people start to believe that this man is taking the fall for his mother? And why would they do that? Because no one's questioned her. You, you haven't questioned her, you know? She doesn't really have an alibi, right? And Joey, he was seen at the store. The clerk saw him that day. He was at that store for part of the day, not the whole day. Jeff. You only want this guy behind bars because you have a personal vendetta, no offense, okay? You think he murdered his son, and I think part of you doesn't like his mother, so you're taking it out on him. You know, I don't think Joey would last that long if the prisoners found out that he was in there for something terrible. You know what I mean? If that rumor started, man, he wouldn't last a day, would he? It's a national case, Jeff. They probably already do. <laughs> you wanna bet? You shouldn't have come here, Miranda. It's stupid. 
Joey, you've been behind bars long enough. Don't you want to see your son? Of course I want to see my son. Just don't want him to see me like this. Would you want him to see you like this? He's not going to remember today. But when he gets older, he's going to know what happened. And he may resent you for choosing this life over choosing a life with your son. Miranda, I'm sure your mom pointed this out to you. Had your life not been a little less chaotic since I've been in here, there's no Melissa, my mother's not breathing down your neck anymore. Why would you want to ruin that for yourself? Just let me stay in here, you know? Stop pushing it. Start over. Just... Because even though we're separated, I know right from wrong, and you being in here right now is wrong. There are other people who should be in here, Joey. Well, Miranda, you know this. My mom will never lose, ever. So please, don't let me being in here be for nothing. Just move on from her, move on from me. Just move on and focus on our baby. Joey. Miranda, just go. Go. What about Junior? You'll probably meet a nice man who can be a good step. Just please go. This is stupid. And I'm not gonna stop until you're out of here. And someone else is in here. Hey, you're quiet today, man. Usually you're a lot more talkative. <laughs> I'm alright. How, how did, um, how did it see, uh, how did it feel to see your baby mama and your baby the other day? Terrible. You know, I hated sharing custody of my baby and I never thought there'd be something worse than that, but I don't know. Being behind bars, away from my baby, that's worse. You're doing it to yourself, bro. You've got a family. We all know you're doing it Willfully, anyone that's in here right now, they'd kill to get out. You're in here by choice. Yeah, well, my baby mama is better off. Well, if you're gonna be in here and all that, eh, maybe you should think about, like, I don't know, things that used to annoy you about Miranda. Baby, so, um, pregnancy's over. You had the baby. Yeah, it is. So? And, um,. Let me guess, you want me to start cleaning the litter box again? Nah! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Those things in our marriage, in hindsight, they really didn't matter. Alright, look, between you and me, you gotta get out of here if you wanna stay alive, alright? You gotta take back that confession of yours. Hey man, you know something I don't? There's people on the outside that are trying to spread rumors about you on, on the inside. Rumors about me? That cop Jeff. He's trying to get you jumped. Uh, well, ain't that great. You know, I shouldn't be here. But you are. We have a lot to talk about, don't we? For the record, I don't know what you're talking about. But I do know that you were trying to set me up. <laughs> and who told you that? Agatha, don't believe that withered old hag. She has dementia. With Joey in prison, I really don't have a reason to speak to you anymore. Just know that I will find a way to get him out. And what? You think I'll take his place? Anyway, I called you here today because with Joey in prison, I still want to see my grandson. So in Joey's place, every weekend, I will be picking the baby up. <laughs> you will not. Especially after I know what you're capable of. I don't want you anywhere near my son. Don't act like you're totally innocent, Miranda. When it came to Melissa, you came to me, remember? 
Everything... I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is you're a terrible person and you are coming nowhere near my family ever again. I just know she killed my daughter. If you don't mind me asking, what makes you assume that? I know it's not my place, but I truly hope that you don't let your baby anywhere near that god-awful woman. I'm surprised she's still part of your life at all. With all due respect, Mrs. Cartwright, um, I don't know if I should legally be speaking to you. It's Miss Cartwright. And I completely understand why you may feel that way, but just know, I don't see you as a suspect anymore. Heck, I don't even see Joey as a suspect anymore. The one who I truly think had something to do with my daughter's death is that monster of a mother-in-law of yours. I know that your daughter's death is an unfinished chapter, but going against my mother-in-law, you'll never get the upper hand. I've always tried and failed. So now I just try to live my life and keep a distance. Honey, if you think that living your life and keeping a distance from a woman like that is going to keep her away, and you best be watching your back, cause she will get her grandson. I know what you're in here for, scumbag. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Keep it mo moving. You're never gonna see your baby again. Me and Joey are separated, but every day that he's in that prison and locked up, I worry that my baby's gonna lose his father. So it's crazy since my son, you miss like the custody setup? Yeah, I miss that. Compared to this situation, yeah. It's weird even asking this question, but um, you trying to get him to take the confession back, that didn't work? No. Amanda, how's your friend? Maybe it's time you just accept the fact that you're gonna have to raise this baby by yourself, you know? Who knows what can happen to Joey in jail. Joey, I cleared it with the officers. Your baby's mother's here. Let her in. Oh my God, look at you, Joey. Look at what you're allowing yourself to go through. You have a baby. I don't need you here, Miranda. You're making it harder for yourself. I don't think you realize how you're playing with fire and like, if something had really happened to you, our baby would not have a father. Call me silly, but I don't want that for him. Just like when I was with Melissa, nobody wants us together. All my followers know that I'm bad for you. And I agree. I'm not talking about us being together. I'm talking about you being outside of these walls where you can take care of the baby because guess what? Now, since you're in here, your mom wants to see the baby on the weekends as if she has joint custody. Miranda, don't let her anywhere near our baby. It's crazy to hear you say that, finally. But you can't be delusional. No matter what, she's going to continue to harass me. She's going to keep coming after me, especially with you in here. Uh, you don't need me to deal with my mom. Okay, You've never needed me, and you've proved that. You're a strong, independent woman. Just let me be here with my karma. Let me stay in prison. Let me deal with everything that I've done, you know? Fine, <laughs> be a martyr. But if something happens to me because of your mother, the blood is on your hands. Don't be stubborn. Oh, Miranda, how has the baby been doing in daycare? It's been fine. The only thing that sucks is interacting with the parents who clearly know about Melissa's case. Well, I'm sure everything will die down eventually. The media can't talk about this forever. Not if I get Joey out. I wish you would just drop it for the baby's sake. Let's say Joey does get out. You could be considered a suspect all over again. I'm not worried about me because I'm innocent. The only thing that I worry about and I know it sounds like crazy is that like 
I worry that Mill didn't finish the job. What do you mean? Not that we should be talking about this. I wasn't there for Melissa's ending. And I'm worried that, like, maybe... She's still alive? Yeah. Thank you, Miranda. You can get rid of that chair. I've got it from here. So, this is what I'll be using to hide you from the world. And I'll also be using it to finish this job. Any last words? I hope something terrible happens to you. I hope something terrible happens to your grandson. And I hope that you live to see that. But I hope the worst happens to Miranda. Oh, that's cute. I thought you were no longer coming here. I thought you wanted a war. I'm not happy with the circumstances, Mother. But I'm not blind to know how much power you really have in this town. So, I was thinking maybe we could call a truce and work together. I don't think so. You've been a terrible mother, a terrible daughter, and now a terrible grandmother. There's no getting back into my good graces. Well, I think it would be in your best interests to work with me and be civil with me because I asked Miranda to see the baby on the weekends. If you ever want to see your great-grandson again, you're going to have to go through me. <laughs> she would never allow that. She's not stupid. If I want to see my great-grandson, I'll ask Miranda. I don't need you. I know why you really came here today. And why is that? You wanted to win our war quick and easy. So you thought you could just poison me. Just like Miranda, I'm not stupid. I'm not like your other victims. Now get out. You're not seeing that baby if I don't. Send her away. Don't let her come in. That's how you're treating me now? I want you to stay away from Miranda and I want you to stay away from my baby. You understand me? I don't understand what's with the hostility. Know what you said to Miranda about seeing the baby on the weekend while I'm in here as if you have custody. And that's absolutely ridiculous. Stop putting pressure on my ex-wife like that. Just leave her alone. You're in prison. How am I supposed to see my grandson? Have you ever heard of anything called grandparents rights? One thing that I have learned in prison is something called clarity. And I've begun to realize that if anyone belongs in this jumpsuit, Mom, it's you. But that's not going to happen, so just stay away from my family. Do me that favor at least. You're going to regret saying that when I'm not around anymore. And your son is going to grow up to resent you from keeping me out of his life. Something tells me you're wrong about that. I'm really disappointed in you, Joey. I'm sorry for coming here and bothering you, but it's about my baby. You never have to apologize for coming to see me. But what's the issue? All right, so I saw Mill. We had like a sit down and she told me that on the weekends she wants- She told me, but you don't have to worry about her. I have eyes on your apartment. Yeah, it's all clear, boss. It was just a mailman. With all due respect, Nanny Agatha, I don't think I need surveillance like that. When it comes to my daughter, and your baby, my great-grandson, you do. Well, 
With Joey locked away, I guess it could help. Even with Joey out of prison, he would never protect you against her. Did you, um, hear that Joey got attacked in prison? Yeah. I heard. You heard, um, Joey's cellmate who might have snitched on him and the guy who beat up Joey got killed? Between you and me, that, um, that Nanny Agatha lady, she's got connections everywhere. You ever think that maybe this Nanny Agatha chick is the one who orchestrated the whole Melissa thing? That's above my pay grade. Come in. Hello, Agatha. How are you? Better than you look. What the hell do you want? I'm trying to make amends with the family. My son. What happened? OTB closed? No money for bingo? Things have changed. I hear you're sick. Yes. What's the illness? It doesn't matter at this point. I don't have much time. Funny. How when someone sees death in their own life, they go back to the family that they left to die. Come on. Can you just tell Joey to talk to me? It's important to me. You're better off talking to Miranda. But if you try anything funny with her, you can finish this sentence. Really? You'd allow me to speak with her? It's only because she knows how to handle herself. Thanks. Good seeing you. Keep an eye on him. He's full of crap. He's working for the police.